Welcome to another LTW product showcase video. Today we're highlighting our patented Cobase, our collaborative robot table that actually raises and lowers for different height operators. It's designed to mount up any collaborative robot on the market today. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a UR or Universal Robots robot that actually is going to mount to this. The tabletop in this case is designed specifically for a UR10, but we have adapter plate that actually allows you to adapt down to a UR5 or a UR3. Then it's got our docking system for the Universal Robots controller and cord wraps to make it all look really nice. And then once it's all mounted up, you can simply push the electric button, lower it all the way down to the ground where the casters contact the ground, the levelers actually pick up, and now you can easily push it to wherever you need your Collabor robot. You can use our new RDS, or Rapid Dock System, to actually dock it into a press or whatever application you need it. Then when you're ready to go, just lower it down, wheel it to where you want it, then push the electric button, and it goes ahead and electronically raises the table top surface to your perfect ergonomic height. So, let's go ahead and unbox this UR10 and put it on the LTW Cobase. Let's go ahead and open up the first box, see what's in it. And in this case, it's the UR10's controller. With the LTW dock system, let's simply set it on there without any tools, and we're ready to go around the back side. Time to get the UR10, in this case, out of the box. We're going to mount it up to the LTW co-base. Go ahead. There it is. Now this is a big robot. I definitely recommend you get multiple people to go ahead and help you with this installation. And so at this point, we're gonna go ahead, rotate it into position. We're going to take our fasteners thread it into the table it's time to go around backside and actually start wiring this up and i'm going to show you how neat and tidy we can get this now that we're around the back side, we've got two cables to plug in. We've got the controller cable to the robot, and we've got the power cable to the controller. First, we'll start with the controller cable, and we've got to plug that end in the bottom side, and uh, you go ahead and connect that to the controller, and then you want to make sure and snap it in solidly. Then, LTW's got some really cool cord wraps right here, just ready to just make this look really nice and tidy. So we'll just wrap those, wrap that up. And they definitely give you plenty of cord to wrap up. So this is a nice feature. Once we get it wrapped up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna thread it right up through the hole provided in the tabletop and run it over and we're going to go ahead and plug this right into the robot. So we'll get that in there, we'll snap in the, the lock, we're all set to go. And at that point we can just make it look a little more tidy, it looks good. Now we go ahead and grab the power cord and we'll go ahead and plug that into the controller. Snap that up inside of there. And 
then we can go ahead and make that look nice and tidy. So let's go ahead and wrap that on up. And that's got plenty of cord too, so it's nice that we've got some place to put all of that. And once it's wrapped up, we can actually go ahead and uh, we've provided you a 110 outlet right on the co-base. So you can go ahead and plug that right in. Now that we have the robot all securely mounted to our cobot table or our co-base, and we've got the controller all mounted to its frame, we've got the cords all wrapped up nice and neatly, it's ready for you to just go ahead and power it up and deploy it however you see fit. Whenever you need the robot anywhere else, remember, all you gotta do is push the electric button on our patented base, lower it all the way down, where it'll go onto the casters, lift the levelers right up off the floor, and with our new RDS or rapid dock system coming out, you'll be able to dock it right into any one of your stations throughout your plant. So, to learn more about LTW's patent and co-base, go to ltw1.com.